Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Crypto Gorilla tutorial. Today, I'm re-showing you how to use Hyper EVM and Hyper Liquid. I had a ton of questions after my last tutorial. So this one is really going to be an A to Z, how to swap deposit withdraw from Hyper EVM, as well as trade NFTs, meme coins, all the stuff we love doing. As usual, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just showing you how to use these tools, links for every tool in the description down below. While you're down there, would you kindly hit that subscribe button and let's jump right into it. So we can basically split Hyperliquid into two different sections. On one end, there's the Hyperliquid platform, which was the original platform where people got that huge airdrop from. Its main purpose is for trading perps. However, you can also trade spot and some other stuff. And then on the other end, there's Hyper EVM, which recently launched. And this is basically having the hype network inside of your MetaMask. And this is where you're gonna go to mint NFTs, trade NFTs on the secondary market, trade meme coins, and so on. Now, despite them being two different things, you are gonna need both if you want to use Hyper EVM, as everything needs to pass through the Hyper Liquid platform until they make a bridge to go directly to Hyper EVM. And our motive here is to get the Hype token into Hyper EVM, as that is the native token that we're gonna transact with when using MetaMask or whatever wallet you choose to use. So step one, super easy. We're gonna need to sign up to Hyperliquid. Again, link in the description down below, and we're going to be connecting with our wallet. I'm gonna be using MetaMask. You can use whatever you want. We're gonna click connect, pick the wallet you want. It's gonna prompt our MetaMask. I'm gonna click connect, and it's gonna give me this little terms and agreement box. You could read it if you feel like it. I'm going to click accept. Again, I have to sign. And now we're ready to deposit money. I'm going to do this right away. If you want to make trades on the platform, you are going to need to enable trading. And this makes it so I can transact in the platform without needing to constantly uh, accept things in my MetaMask, or I assume that's what it does. And now it's asking me to deposit and it wants me to deposit USDC. However, the easiest way the easiest way to get hype into this platform, if you have access to any of these centralized exchanges, BitGet, KuCoin, Gate.io, BingX, or if you see any others in this list, this is really the simplest way. So I'm gonna show you how to do that by using BitGet. If you don't have any of these exchanges, tough luck, just fast forward in this video to the next deposit spot. So here I am in BitGet. I selected withdraw. When it asks for a token, I'm picking hype, the network, the only one. Again, I'm picking hype and I don't know why it's not doing it now, maybe because I already did a withdraw, but it gives you a warning saying, hey, only send this to the Hyper Liquid platform. Now, it doesn't matter because we're using the same wallet address in our MetaMask as we are in Hyper Liquid, so we can't accidentally send it to somewhere random. However, when you're depositing back into a centralized exchange, which I have no idea how to do from Hyper Liquid since it only lets you go to and from your MetaMask with the Hype token, it warns you only send from uh, hyper liquid. So never send until they fix this, never send from your MetaMask to your centralized exchange. I believe your money's just gone. If you do this, I could be totally wrong. Maybe they're going to add a solution in the future. The easiest way is never send hype tokens from hyper EVM to your centralized exchange, but I'm withdrawing from a centralized exchange. So I'm safe. I'm going to put my address again from my MetaMask, but like we said, it's the same one here. I'm gonna do next. It's gonna ask me how much I wanna send. I'm just gonna do all. You're gonna to have to go buy tokens, obviously, in your centralized exchange. I'm really hoping you know how to do that. We're gonna click withdraw and continue with this process. And here we go. Our hype tokens just arrived in our wallet and we're ready to go to Hyper EVM. So if you are able to do this method, feel free to skip ahead. However, I'm gonna show you how to trade on this platform if you wanna stick around. If you don't have access to any of these exchanges, you're gonna to have to take the longer route, which is gonna require you to have two different tokens. You're gonna to need USDC on Arbitrum because this platform does run on ARB as well as ETH on ARB in order to perform a transaction on Arbitrum to pay that gas fee. So a few ways you can get USDC and ETH on ARB. The first way is with your centralized exchange. Just, just make sure when you're withdrawing 
when you go to chain, you are searching for Arbitrum one or just Arbitrum, whatever it's called in your exchange. And that's going to send it to the Arbitrum chain. So you could do this both for USDC as well as a small amount of ETH. I think you just need like $5 or even less and you would withdraw it from your platform and it's gonna show up in your MetaMask. The second way is by using a bridge which allows you to go from one chain to another. So here I would pick, you know, ETH mainnet, base, avalanche, whatever you want into Arbitrum and then Arbitrum I would do both one for USDC as well as one for ETH, I would proceed with the transaction and it would be in my wallet. Or you can use the third way, which is a cross-chain swap. OpenSea recently released one that has zero fees. I'm also trying to get as much XP as I can and they do have the shipments, so I'm speculating. No confirmation here. I have no guarantee this is gonna do anything, but I'm speculating making some swaps could eventually get me a shipment. So I've been making swaps on the platform just in case I get some free XP. So when you're using a bridge or a cr cross-chain swap, on top you select the chain you wanna go from, on the bottom the chain you wanna go to, in this case Arbitrum and USDC. Like I said, you're also going to need ETH. So you're going to do this twice. I'm just going to put an amount. It's going to give me a quote. I'm going to click swap, confirm my transaction. And here you go. My transaction has gone through. Cool. So now that we have USDC and a little bit of ETH in our wallet on Arbitrum, we are ready to deposit into the Hyperliquid platform. So to do this, you would click deposit on the bottom right. It's going to say select chain. Here we did Arbitrum. I'm sure in the future they're going to have a ton. So you might no longer need to do Arbitrum. If you're watching this video a month, six months, whatever from now, USDC, I'm going to just do max. I'm going to switch to the Arbitrum network, which I already have in my MetaMask. If you don't have it, you can use this website, which I'll link down below called Chainlist. You would just search uh, Arbitrum and you would add Arbitrum 1 to your MetaMask by clicking this button and accepting in your MetaMask. So I'm just gonna click deposit. It's going to prompt my MetaMask on Arbitrum and you can see there is a very small network fee of two cents, but this is why we needed a little bit of ETH in our MetaMask. So I'm gonna click confirm. I get a confirmation that my transaction went through. We have to wait a couple seconds for our USDC to pop up in our wallet. And here you go, it is now in our wallet. So let's pretend the scenario that you don't have any hype in your wallet. Now you're gonna need to go and purchase some tokens. The minimum amount of USDC that you need in your Hyperliquid account is gonna be $10 if you wanna swap. So you're gonna need to send more than $10. And in order to do a swap, you would go here, similar to a centralized exchange, you would search the token and you're gonna to want to click on the version that is called spot. This 3X here, that is for perps. It's for futures trading. You're longing or shorting the market and you can get liquidated. We don't want that. We want to have the actual token in our wallet. So we are selecting spot. However, before being able to purchase in spot, if you look at the bottom here at my USDC balance, it says USDC perps. That's because the core use of this platform is perps trading and your perps and spot accounts are separate. So we're going to need to transfer from our perps account into our spot. You can do this either by clicking transfer to spot right here or on the bottom right. It's also appears. So I'm going from perps into spot. I'm using USDC. I'm just going to do max because I don't need any in my spot account or in my perps account. I'm going to click confirm in my MetaMask. And just like that, it is now in my spot account. So now I'm ready to go purchase. So I'm just going to buy some hype using a market order. If you want a specific price, feel free to set that with limit orders. I'm just doing market place order. And within, I was going to say a second, within a couple seconds, it has now added to my hype balance. If you didn't have the hype, it's going to appear as hype for the first time. And now we are able to send it to hyper EVM. So the first step is we're going to need hyper EVM in our MetaMask. And to do this, we can head over to chainlist.org. Again, linked in the description down below. I'm going to search hyper EVM. I'm going to click add to MetaMask. It gives me a bunch of warnings. These don't matter. I'm going to click approve. And now when I go in my MetaMask, I'm able to find the Hyper EVM network. Now I currently have zero. So we're going to go from Hyperliquid into Hyper EVM. Now to do this, most people are getting confused because they're clicking withdraw. But like we just saw, that only lets you go into Arbitrum or Bitcoin, which I've actually never tried. What we want to do is click down here, transfer to Hyper EVM. EVM. So we would click this, 
my tendency is always to click max, but if you want to send money, which is the number one question I'm getting, how do I send my money from Hyper EVM back into Hyper Liquid? If you wanna be able to do this, you're going to need to leave some hype in your account or have enough money, at least $10 in USDC, to buy hype in the future. It's gonna prompt my MetaMask on Arbitrum. I'm going to click confirm. And as you can see, I no longer have 6.6 .6 hype. I only have 0.6. And if I open my MetaMask and I go back to Hyper EVM, the tokens should appear within, there you go, they just appeared. I now have six hype in my wallet. So this is how you go from Hyper Liquid into Hyper EVM. Now, again, the number one question I'm getting, how do I send my money back into Hyper Liquid? Because it's the only way to exit the Hyper Liquid ecosystem. To do this, it's the same way. You click transfer to EVM, and then you would need to click this arrow. I'm swapping back, and the amounts are changing from the amount I have, that 0.6 in Hyper Liquid, to the six or 5.9999 hype that I now have in my wallet. So here I would go from EVM into spot and I would click whatever amount I wanna bring back. I would do confirm. It's going to prompt my MetaMask again and now I'm able to send that money from MetaMask back into the hyper liquid platform. Let's say you want to withdraw your money from uh, hyper liquid back into your MetaMask, I would now have to sell the hype tokens back into USDC, place order. So now I have USDC in spot. For that, we would use the withdraw function. However, it needs to be in your perps balance. So here we would go back from spot into perps. I'm gonna click max, confirm, sign my MetaMask, then when I go to withdraw, I'm able to withdraw it. I would do withdraw to Arbitrum. It's gonna make me sign and it's going to send it to my MetaMask. So that is how you go to and from Hyper Liquid as well as to and from Hyper EVM. You need to use the Hyper Liquid platform. So now that we have money in our MetaMask in Hyper EVM, we can do things like trade meme coins, trade NFTs. So I'll show you where to do that. The platform I've been using to trade NFTs, which is also a launch pad, is called drip.trade. There's currently only a few NFTs available here, but if you want to purchase one, it functions like any other chain. You would connect your wallet and then you just click, or I have to sign, you also have to sign, and then you would just click a collection, and if you want to buy, you would just select that NFT, and then I can do buy now if I want to buy this. I can also place a bid. So if I wanna buy this Hypers NFT, I would click buy now. It's gonna prompt my MetaMask. I click confirm, and there you go. Instantly, my transaction went through, and if I go to my portfolio on the top left here, you could see I now, I already had two in my wallet, but I just purchased that third, which you can see right here from the last sale price versus these two that have no sale price because I minted those. So that is how you trade NFTs. I would show you how to mint an NFT, but there's nothing minting right now, so I don't have that available, but it functions the same way that I just showed you how to purchase, but instead you're clicking mint. So you're buying directly off a website instead of buying from, or I guess I minted my hypers from this platform, but you get the point. The other thing you could do is trade meme coins. So if you want to trade coins, a lot of them are available on the Hyper Liquid platform itself under spot, under perps, whatever you wanna do, but a lot of the new meme coins aren't. So for that, you can use something like HyperSwap. It functions exactly like Uniswap, a very basic layout. You just select the token you want to use to purchase with. You select the token you want to buy. So here I'm just gonna buy some Buddy, and let's say I wanna buy 10 uh, hype worth of Buddy. I would put in the amount, it's gonna give me a quote. I'm going to click Swap confirm swap, it's going to prompt my MetaMask, confirm, and my transaction has gone through. If I want to add it to my MetaMask, I would just click add buddy. I've already done it, so it's not gonna do anything, or it's still prompting it. Uh, you could see the buddy is now in my account, so I click confirm and I can close. And now I can see it in my MetaMask. If I wanted to sell, I would just have to approve it first, and then after, I'd be able to swap it out back to hype or whatever other token you want to swap it for. Now, the last thing I got asked how to do is how to stake your hype tokens. And to do that, you would go back to Hyper Liquid and then you would just click staking. First, you would have to send your tokens from spot into your staking balance because these are all separate accounts, spot, perp, staking, all separate. So I click spot 
to staking. Let's, I only have one and a half in this account. I'm just gonna do one. I'm going to click transfer. Again, my MetaMask pops up. I click confirm. And now that it's transferred into that account, I'm able to stake my tokens. So I click max. Here it says select a validator. I haven't done the research into these validators, so I can't suggest one for you. I'm just gonna go with the uh, Nansen Hyper Collective one. I'm gonna click stake. Again, MetaMask comes up. I click confirm. And now you can see my balance has changed from nine to 10. If I want to unstake, same process. I, I got to select my validator. If you have multiple validators, it's going to show you multiple. I click the amount max if you want. So I'm going to have to wait for this period in order to unstake my tokens. And there you have it. That's how you use hyper liquid. That's how you use hyper EVM. That's how you transfer in between. If I didn't answer any of you guys' questions, feel free to ask them down below, uh, both on Twitter and YouTube. I will answer them all despite all the bots in the comments. If you have any suggestions for tutorials you'd like to see, let me know down below and I'll try to bang those out for you. As usual, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, would you kindly hit that subscribe button, smash that bell notification, give this video a, a big like so more people see it. Thank you for watching the Crypto Gorilla. Peace.